guys welcome back to the channel now in today's video we're doing all of the mechanical stuff on the fiat panda first things first though this is booked in for an mot so we need to get all four brakes sorted out you have just saw me adjust and clean up the near side back discs dad's already smashed out this side just putting it back together now and uh, now what we have to do is throw on some front discs and parts and then go for it the mot that's dad already got the front near side wheel off. Let's go grab the parts. Here we go, front dish and pads for the Panda and a few other great little goodies for after it's MOT. Now, these all came from all parts. Once again, hooking us up with the best deals, of course. They're awesome and they're always supporting the channel. So if you guys need anything at all, they're in lot call. All the stuff will be in the description. But yeah, shout out to all parts. Brake discs, oil filt, Oil filter, we've got new spark plugs here. Uh, what else we got? Dad went in and got these while I was at away. Water pump, timing belt kit, all this stuff for a good service. But quickly, Dad's probably already finished these front brakes. He's super fast at doing everything. So let's go over and get these fed. Oh man, that's the rain on. Up, eh? You know, finish it. <laughs> no, Not quite. Forgot some of the most important part. Assembly paste. Now this stuff has lasted us years. I think we've got two tubs and they're like ten years old. <laughs> right, guys. As you know, we're trying to be more active on our social media, especially on TikTok, because it's going to help everything grow. So we're trying to think of different TikToks to film. So what we're going to do in this one. We'll show it in the YouTube video as well. Got the tripod set up. It takes about 60 seconds to film a TikTok. I'm going to see if I can replace one side of the discs and pads on a Fiat Panda in the time it takes to do a TikTok. So wish me luck. Hopefully 60 seconds we'll have it done. Right TikTok, I've decided to set myself a challenge. I'm going to see if I can change a full side of the discs and pads on a Fiat Panda in under 60 seconds. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, good. Scratch it up my fresh, my fresh and painted wheel trims. He's fast. But is he fast enough? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the speed. It's a little thunder, that's, that's no spread on this back end, just chopping it down. You're not gonna believe it, but that's a minute up. Yeah. Is that a minute already? <laughs> that's a minute already. Oh. Oh, just keep going, we'll see how long, how long it takes. Guys, it actually took a wee bit longer than a minute. It was probably more like five. -ish. Well, I, I don't know. The the phone did hit <laughs> seven and a half ish. Yeah, but we done a wee bit of far food first. I reckon the rusty crusty bolt slowed me down a wee bit. It's all good though. Either that or I'm getting older. It was still funny to watch. It was still alright. Either way. But that's it done. All we need to do now is torque the wheels, and we're going to run it down to Davy down at the cross garage for its MOT. Right guys, it's been a couple of days, we've got the car back for the MOT station, it's now got a 12 month advisory free MOT on it. Um, what we've done, we've set up the gazebo again and tied it down because we've got a bit of wind noise, we've got the rain on and off again, typical Scottish summer. Um, but we can't hang about, we need to get the timing belt and the water pump done and also get this serviced so it's ready for the new owner. So that's what we're going to crack on and do today. Charlie's got it jacked up, he's took the wheel off. We're not going to do a full how-to on the timing belt. I've already done one of these on a Fiat 500 video, which I'll put same a... Same engine. Yeah, same engine. I'll put a link to it in the description if you need to know how to do one of these. Um, but yeah, we'll just get stuck in and we'll get it done.
As you've seen for the few clips, we've got all the engine mount off, the timing covers, all that kind of stuff. Like I said, we have got a decent how-to video on how to do these really in depth, so I'm not going to go through it all again. These are these are such a simple engine. You can pin them. There's loads of ways of doing it. We just tend to tip X it up, mark up the timing marks, um, and then do it that way. But we've even run out of tip X this time, so. I've actually been up and raided Katie's drawer and we've got some nice hot pink nail varnish that we're going to use to mark the timing marks and this uh, this was actually Charlie's favourite colour we brought a selection down in Charlie <laughs> for the hot pink <laughs> 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 so we're going to use this instead of Tip X You're right Charlie, it stands out quite well So I'll mark my camshaft at the 12 o'clock and then you'll not see it because it's underneath but I'll just mark my crank in the same place and then we can loosen the tensioner, take the belt off, remove the water pump and start replacing the bits. Timing belt's all done. I haven't put any coolant in it yet because we're going to get plenty of time for the sealer to go off. Whenever you're doing one of these engines, some of the water pumps come with gaskets, some don't, depending on the manufacturer. This one, the previous one, didn't have anything in it, and the new pump I got didn't have a gasket, so it's got the thick silicon sealer on it. I'm going to give that some time to go off uh, before we fill it with fresh coolant. So while we're waiting for that, Charlie's going to change some spark plugs and I'm going to go and put some dinner on. So Dad's changed the far right spark plug. This is it here. Uh, pretty crusty looking. And these are the new ones. Got them from Auto Parts. Um, but this does look like it's had a service before. It's got a different oil filter. It's a, a different air filter. Um, spark plugs do look, like, do look like they've been changed before. Um, but the last, the last owner lost the service history. So we're going to do it anyway. Um, just so it's up to date. Now, they're all pretty loose, Dad loosened them, uh, he made sure that they were all loose. But I hope I'm loosening it, lefty, loosey, righty, righty. Hello, Before I put this one in, we're gonna put some of this, some of this grease on. I don't know why Dad just told me to, but not too much, just in the threads, just like that, and then. Hey guys, we're coming to the end of this wee panda. I've just done the. Uh, oil and filter change on it. Charlie's just finishing off refitting the airbox now. Coolant's all bled and topped up. Old filter. Yeah. New filter. Yeah. So there was, there was evidence that this car's been serviced before. It's had the water pump changed, the plugs had been changed, there was a man oil filter that was on it. Uh, there was just no supporting evidence here. The owner did say, the previous owner said, if he can find it, he'll send it out to me. But for peace of mind for the next person, because I can't actually hand them evidence of service history, 
we decided just to do the full thing. Cam belt, water pump. I'm glad we done the cam belt. It was looking a bit worse for wear. But yeah, that's us almost done with this. We'll get this cleaned up and then we've got one more wee job to finish in the garage. And that'll be it for this week. Oh, and we did manage to pick up the Argon bottle for this. I'm just waiting on a regulator coming. We also went and got a load of metal on Tuesday. Is it Tuesday or Monday, Charlie? We've got a whole load of stainless steel being delivered. So we're about to get cracking on with this as well. So let's finish this up and we'll see you guys in a minute. Right, one of the final jobs on the Fiat before we pack everything up and put it away is we're going to test the battery. Now, you all know we work with Top Don, they sent us out the AD800. They've been kind enough to send us out one of their BT100 battery testers to try as well. And um, as always, there will be a link in the description to a discounted one for you guys. Um, it'll be through eBay, so you click on the link straight to eBay. That's a discounted code just for the home built viewers, so you can go and pick one up. I think they work out about £25, so they're really reasonably priced. So let's plug it in, we'll try it. As you can see, the top down isn't on at the moment. These are dead easy to use. You just follow the instructions on the machine when it turns on. So plug one onto the positive, your other one onto the negative, and the top down will turn on. So we've plugged the top down in guys, and we've got a reading of 12.4 volts already. So all we do now is click enter. Now what we can do with this is a battery test, which will check the condition of the battery. We can do a cranking test to make sure it doesn't drop below the minimum CCA to start your car. We can also do a charging test as well, so if you're uh, struggling with flat batteries in the mornings or just a little bit weak, you can click on charging test, run the car, and it'll test the output of the alternator as well. So we're just going to go for a straightforward battery test, so we'll just click enter on there. Now it's a regular flooded battery, it's no, a, it's no an AGM or a gel battery. We're going to test the CCA. Now, it automatically sets to 750 CCA, but that's for huge batteries. So, if you look at the sticker on your battery, it will tell you what the CCA is. This one's 430. So, we'll make this 430. Press enter. And it will start testing the battery. And then it'll come up with the test results any minute. So there we go. It's telling me it's a good battery. It's 60% healthy, 334 cold cranking amps. So it's no, it's no perfect, but this might be because the car has been lying for a while. Before we got it, it sat for about six or seven months without moving. So it's a good battery. After a good run, I think the CCAs will come up just fine. But there we go. It's as easy as that to test your battery. If it was needing a charge, it would come up with the charge light and tell you to charge it. If it was a bad battery, the bad battery would light up, tell you it's failed the test, and you would require a new battery. But the one in the Fiat Panda is good to go. Thanks again to Top Don for sending us out this tool. It's another easy to use DIY friendly tool that's going to be handy for anybody to have. And for 20 25 quid, it's well worth having in your garage. So check out the link below. Go get yourself one while they're discounted and help support the guys that support the channel. So that's the Panda sorted now. It's all been serviced, it's been machine polished and it's ready for the next owner. Now in here, what have you been working on, Dad? I've been messing a bit with this shelving unit or boxes that i got. Yeah, it's looking good. At least we know where everything is now and we can find it. Not like before. It's not quite what I envisioned, but... It's a lot more neater and tidier than it anyway. It'll work. And you can see all the nice Infinity Wax products. Oh, is that, is that you got to plug that? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> if you guys want some Infinity Wax products, you know we use them in all our cars and you know how good they come out. Use code HOMEBUILT or the link in the description and you'll get a nice wee discount at the end of it as well. And by doing that, you also support the channel because Infinity Wax gives us a little kickback as well. So head on over, get your discounted Infinity Wax products. Your cars will look great, helps us fund the channel and we can make bigger and better projects. 
So yeah, and hope you've enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and we'll see you in the next one.